Today we are removing the dam that's located in Mexico, Indiana. Um, historically this dam has been here for quite a while. The dam is being removed because it's a hazard to more than just humans. Um, humans can get stuck in it and then also um, fish passage is a big problem. Um, fish can't get through it so it's blocking um, their migration. It's also disrupting the stream bed and making large holes. So if people were to go swimming here it'd be a little dangerous. Some of the people in Mexico are kind of sad to see this go, but uh, talking to some of the locals around, they understand the, how important it is for it to come out. Um, it is a broken dam, it's breached in a couple locations, so it has lost its purpose. It can't be used anymore for what it was originally built for, which was to generate power for the mill, which no longer exists here, so now it's just acting as a barrier. Manchester's gotten involved with the removal of this dam because we do um, a lot of fish sampling on the Eel River. We look at the uh, biological communities, uh, how many of each species of fish there are, how many species there are, and we do this all throughout the Eel River. There's been two dams removed on the Eel River, one at North Manchester and one at Liberty Mills. After the removal of these dams, there's been a huge increase of uh, fish population and fish community, and it's just showing a better, it's better for the um, biological community for the Eel River. We get to learn the different fish species in the area, mussel species, we learn identification. So it really helps us grow as a biologist and it helps us also understand just like the river system a little bit better. We're the only university in the state that has removed dams, so it makes us a little bit unique because no one else has been having the experience that Manchester students have been helping with these projects.